Hey, what up, guys? Dr. Man33 here. Bringing you episode 21. 21? 21? So, yeah, we got, so we're, do, we're progressing in this story. Progressing really well. So let's keep going. Cutscene time. The city's on high alert. What the hell did you two do? Us? Uh, nothing. We've been um, sightseeing. Right, Jack? Really? Then why are the Crimson Guard looking for a dangerous young man with light hair, blue tunic, and a rabbit orange rat on his shoulder? Uh, could be anyone. Orange is the new black this season. Look, we climbed up to the Baron's palace, and we tripped a few alarms. Oh, right. That's who. What? I didn't authorize a strike on the... Hey, we kicked the Baron's ass. Unfortunately, he escaped. And we overheard a secret meeting with the leader of the Metalheads. You saw the Metalhead leader? No, he was on some communicator. But we heard him talking with Baron Praxis. The Baron is bribing the Metalheads with Eco. <laughs> it will never be enough. But the Baron's gonna double-cross him. Is that so? Well, our good Baron's wonderful charm must have angered someone, because there's word from the Wasteland that Metalhead armies are on the move again. Why didn't you tell me Ashlyn was Praxis's daughter? What's your connection with her? That's none of your business. Since you've stirred up the Wumpy's nest, you and Whiskers here get to move four of our people to new safe houses. Shuttle each agent to a location they specify. Move all of them without any casualties. Don't screw this up, Jack. Why do I have to move them? That's not my fault. Not their fault. No, it kind of is, but they should move themselves. <laughs> All right. Oh God, there's a timer. So yeah. So okay. I mean, we should try to concentrate on this. Okay. Well, just get the fuck in here. Thank Mar, you're here. Please advise. Prison guards Suspects are everywhere. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so, uh... Okay, he died, but whatever. <laughs> this is like crazy taxi right here. Crazy taxi jack style. So yeah, so Destiny Endgame is a lot of fun, because that's when you can basically start doing everything. And like, because... That's when you can start getting like the maximum rewards for stuff. And can, can you get the fuck in here? So, yeah, so that's like the maximum stuff you can start getting for stuff. Because you can do like the daily quests, but like you can only do like there's like three tiers again, three different levels. So, like 28 is the max. When you hit level 28, that's like the sweet spot of Destiny. That's when you can start to do like everything, like except for hard rate. But you can do uh, you can do the weekly like maxed out. Uh, when you do weekly on uh, level 28, you get nine strange coins, and uh, there's this another th weekly thing called Nightfall, which is really, really tough, but, like, you're guaranteed a... You're guaranteed a legendary from those, so, like, you're guaranteed either a bunch of materials, like, I'll kind of explain what some of the stuff I got from. And you can even get exotics from there. And also, um, when you're leveling up, like uh, when I was talking about the crypt arc before, with like I mean, the crucible marks, um, you also get levels. You'll level it up. So when you level that up, that's when you need to do to uh, buy legendary armor. So to buy legendary armor from those things, you get to go. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> you need to be level. Uh, I think level 2 with Vanguard, and like 2 with Crucible to buy like their armors, level 3 to be. So yeah, it doesn't take that long to level them up either. But when you level them up, like after level 3 you start leveling up, and you start getting them. That's another way that you can start getting the legendary uh, stuff is through just packages. That's where I got my first legendary weapon, which was a pulse rifle, that was through uh, Vanguard. I think it was through uh, Crucible, because I played a lot of Crucible back then. 
Chris Will is a lot of fun. Doing a lot of PvP. So I was doing a bunch of PvP, so I got that up to level 30 first. From the Vanguard. Which usually will probably be all the way around. And, uh, unless you find. Uh, unless you find a PvP a lot of fun like I did. So. So at that point, uh, you can get you can get another uh, after level three. Every time you level up uh, the Vanguard or Crucible, there's a chance you can get a uh, a legendary item. So either legendary armor, or piece, or weapon, or so there's that's another chance you can get more legendary stuff. So, anyways, so once you're past that point, um, once you level twenty eight. <laughs> Once you've hit level 28, yeah, like I said, you can start doing. Can I? Can I hop out of this? Get a new car. So. So, level 28, yeah, that's, when you, that's the sweet spot of Destiny, that's when you can start doing everything again. Except for hard raids, so, you can do Nightfall, uh, you can do dailies, like the Maxwell dailies, so you get the most rewards from that, um, you can pretty much do everything. Um, Nightfalls, Nightfalls are really, really, f um, again, like the weekly strikes, um, like the weekly strike where you get strange coins from. Um, you'll get a legendary item guaranteed. Either if it's materials, if you get materials, you get a lot of them, but you're guaranteed at least a weapon. Um, it's usually weapons, not really armor. Um, so that's a good way to get legendary armor. I mean, weapons if you need them, or you can get exotics from that too if you're lucky. Um, So, uh, so for example, um, uh, I won't be able to finish this. God damn it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and everyone just instantly died. Oh, this is hard. Hard to talk and stuff, so. I need to concentrate more. So, again, that's kind of... I'm going to get a little tired, too, so I, I mean, this might be one of my last episodes I'm going to for tonight. Um, so, again, that's kind of like the end game. Uh, Nightfall, like, I've done Nightfall a bunch of times now. You also get experience boost, like, I mean, you'll get experience boost for, uh, once you complete Nightfall, you'll get, like, a Nightfall experience boost, so, for whatever else you do, you start getting an experience boost other stuff so that's really really handy pretty cool too helps you up your weapons better faster and gear so that's really handy for that um so yeah see you can get like legendary like uh, machine guns rock launchers i've got an exotic stuff like exotic helmets and so i've got like exotic uh, Head pieces, chest pieces before a bunch of like a bunch of really cool stuff. Um, I've got an ascendant like, material before, like shards, and I got like I think I got nine, I think, or it's like ten or something. So that's like a ton, which is really really useful. And, like, especially if you need to upgrade your gear. So again, nightfall is really awesome. Again, it's really tough though because uh, if you have a fire team and everyone dies during nightfall, you get returned. To like you get returned back to orbit, so it's really, really tough. But it's like, this is where I get off. So like the, it's kind of like, well, um, it's kind of. Can I get in? Oh, my fatty, get out of the way. Surrender. 
surrender. I'm trying to find a fucking. So, yeah, I really like the end game. The end game of the game was really, really fun. When you're doing like, when you're doing the raid with like a full team of like people, you, like people, it's really, really. I know it seems like a little tedious, but I tend to get to level 20, but Charlie's worth it. Like, uh, I made a clan for the game. You know, like, there's a bunch of us. So it's a really cool clan. Like everyone's pretty chill in there. Like one guy's kind of but um, like I have a great guy, like uh, Grendel Prime. He's like one of the admins of the clan. He's really, really awesome. He always helps out guys through the raid and night falls. And, like, see so it's He's really awesome. He's done a lot for the clan. Um, a lot of the guys, they're all pretty cool. They're all really, really patient. There's another guy, Seba. She's really awesome, too. And he's been helping a lot, too. It's really, really cool. He's from Sweden. Um, yeah, everyone in the clan is pretty cool. Everyone's like, no one really gets mad at each other. Uh, except for one guy. I won't mention any names, but. Uh, Move like you got a purpose, man. I'm just, trying, I'm just going to try to concentrate for this last little bit, sorry. <laughs> I just really don't want to have to... Oh, fucking fire. God damn it! <laughs> This has become a waste of an episode, but whatever. <laughs> Stuff like this happens. Everything Stuff like this happens. The promised land is yours. But yeah, so like, when you find a really good raid group, um, you can find randoms, but it's, I think it's better if you try to join a clan. Like, it's really easy to just go find a clan. Or a lot of people are recruiting, and there's nothing in game you can do with the clan, sadly, so you have to go on the Bungie website. But like, once you get that all set up and going, uh, like, it's really, really fun man, just to do a raid with people. It's really, really cool because you have that block cooperation. Like, it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. That's like the most fun I've ever had in like a game in a long time with other people. It's doing like the raid with my clan mates and trying to figure out stuff together. Like when we first did the raid, that was a, that was a, that was a whole nother experience. Like, it's something I can't even describe. Like, Besides, like, like you can't even just go like, because playing with just your friends, unless you're, unless you have like six friends or five friends that are all playing Destiny with you, then hell, that's amazing. But in my situation, I didn't have like all my friends. They all still had PS3s. Like, no one had PS4. And all my friends like bought Destiny or whatever, so I had to find. So I made a clan, and a bunch of people joined my clan, and really awesome guys, and we connected, and. So, I would advise you to do the same. Find a clan. Just kind of find some casual clan. That's what my clan is. If you want to join my clan, if you haven't played Destiny, if you haven't played Destiny or want to find people to play Destiny with, then uh, just join my clan. I'll put a uh, put my clan in the description. I just gotta remember to remember to put that in the episode. So, uh, yeah, check in the description. There's my clan. You know it's Platinum Shine. Uh, Really cool guys. We have this group chat going on, so we always run a raid every week. I have two alts now, so I can raid for raid. I can do the raid twice a week. And I'm about to make my third alt. Uh, probably this weekend. So yeah, so a lot of fun doing the raid. Get the raid gear, and they can be like, "Yeah, I got raid gear," and everyone's like, "Awesome, yeah!" And everyone supports you, well, unless you find something really bad, like people, because there's a lot of 
You have to be careful though, because there's, there's a lot of people that can be assholes in the raid. Like, if you find randoms. But, like, yeah. Like, sometimes it can be annoying, because I've done, I dealt with some of those people before. Because we had to get some randoms a couple times. Right. Oh my god, like, some of those people. Some people just. Cool, oh, you just want to max out. They're just annoying, they start to get bitchy right away. And I don't deal with that right anymore. There's clans, they're all nice, cool. They're chill, relax, and again, if you're trying to find the clan, the PS4 clan, then uh, just come join up. Accept everybody. Um, or if, if you know anyone that's trying to find. Anyways, so we're going to stop here. This is the end of the episode. <laughs> I kind of went a little long trying to talk about Destiny and stuff and trying to finish that Super Mass mission. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.